and uh, Joe Houston. WrestleMania 15. Four, no, we're up. We're still, we're well, still 14. 14. I'm, my, I'm sorry. We got. We already talked about Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels. If I'm not mistaken. Undertaker came the first meeting. This this build up was for a year. So From was, August of 97. 97 till All right, March. It felt like a year of build up. It was basically. It a was year. almost a year. This match showed. I mean, yes, he lost it, but this match really showed Kane as a monster at his height. And that was Kane at his best. I mean, as far as he kicked out of three tombstones. Two tombstones he kicked out. Look what happened. Look what happened. Look what happened. Kane lost to Undertaker, but three months later, Kane was WWE champion. Kane was WWE champion, as short as it was. But he was WWE champion. But he was WWE champion. I mean, Kane said it himself that Taker brought out the best in him. And you know what? That doesn't surprise us when you hear that Taker brings out the best in people. Because look about it. Look at this. He's a giant, but the guy moves around light on his feet. And that's one of the things that shits on Taker. that shits on WCW because they said the Taker would be worth nothing. Yeah, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the people that WCW got rid of, The Rock, invented, Stone Cold, Triple H, uh, Undertaker, because those four guys Rey alone, because Rey Mysterio, the whole thing You had corporate puppets running WCW because they didn't know a clue about wrestling. They knew nothing. Only Bischoff knew about exactly. Wrestling, but no, they let's not get off topic. WrestleMania 15. The only good thing about that night. Austin and The Rock, the first yeah. world title. That media, I believe, had to be the worst. In what, but years. The Rock represented Vince McMahon's handpicked corporate champion. He was the like WWE. He was the WWE world corporate champion. Yeah, but the thing was though, The Rock, he wasn't like a lot of the heel champions you had back then. He stood up in Austin's face. He didn't blink. So he was destined to become a, the huge face that he was. Yeah. That wasn't their best match. Right? No, their no, best no. match was later on. We'll get to that. Yeah. Now we're up to 16. 16. The Tri triangle. Tri that was probably my the one of the best ladder matches. The triple, ladder match. the, the triple ladder the match. The, ladder the ladder first match. unofficial TLC yeah. match. Because, because you look at you had the tri you had the three. It was a triangle ladder match, but you still had tables and and and, and, what, and I think was, what I think was created by Edge and Christian is when they put the tables on the table on top of the two ladders. And, 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 and they got the table. I think it was the Dudleys that did that, though. No, it was the Dudleys that did it. But the Edge and Christian capitalized. capitalized on that moment. They were great that night. And the what, what other match we had down and, for that and one? The main event, Fatal, Fatal Four Way, Way. McMahon, McMahon in every single corner. Um, Mick Foley's one night return, you know. Um, From his retirement. How many times did he retire for since then? I don't know. This is the birth of the McMahon Hemsley faction for for, t for the, over the next year or so. Well, pretty much the birth of it was three Ste months, four months prior. When at Stephanie Armageddon. turned yeah. on her father but and the joined shot was pretty much Vince turning on the Rock. Much, that was pretty much that was the end. That was the McMahon Hemsley era. But the Rock got when the, Vince McMahon came in and just but the Rock got ran, the last ran, laugh that night. Yeah. Now we're up to your favorite WrestleMania 17. 17. The greatest, the greatest part, the greatest WrestleMania ever, the official closing of the Attitude Era. Because one week ago, one week before that, WCW closed its doors, and then so that means weeks, next year it'll be and then it'll be two a whole weeks, decade. and then I think if I if I read this right, I think two or three weeks after 17, ECW officially. Close its doors. Yeah, although, although Paul Heyman was working for WWE. Despite the ending, Rock and Austin that was, that tore was, the house down that, for the match. Oh, you, had, you had TLC2, which was awesome. Yeah, you McMahon had versus McMahon. McMahon. That was pretty McMahon. good. And the, the only thing that overshadowed that was when Shane McMahon was WCW owner. But, uh, that and, was, uh, and Triple H and Undertaker. Undertaker wrestling in a street of hometown. I know you were nervous because you thought that I was going to be under the street because of Triple H's well, backstage power. But the Undertaker has more pull than Triple H for the simple fact that he's been the locker room leader for so long. Well, I think Undertaker is the unofficial, uncrowned, unappointed, self-proclaimed, whatever you want to call the it. Guys the guys go to Undertaker because they tr know that he'll tell them the truth. But Triple H and Undertaker have a legit respect for each other. If, oh, you, watch, if you watch DVDs, they they both talk about that match. Triple H is proud of that match despite yes. putting Taker over. Um, despite the one camera review that screwed the whole entire the match. Choke the choke slam onto the padding. The choke slam onto horrible. the padding. But, the highlight yeah. for that match for me was um, when Taker had Triple H go yeah, the last right, nailed on the small hammer, and Taker still kicked out. And this and, and this Triple was, H was banging on, and, his, and, on, the, on the ring. And Taker was his this was Taker's most vulnerable character as the American Dad, yeah. and he still kicked out. And and real quickly, McMahon versus McMahon. You what an ending to that match! The, the, the coast to coast. Um, that was the first time you used that. That was the first time you ever used that. Yeah. So now, many things in that match. Linda that coming good. back from a stroke. Kicking Vince into grapefruits. Trish. Um, oh, anything Nick with Foley. Trish is good. Anything with Trish is good. 
Anyway, moving on to 18. 18. What match First is Jericho and Triple H. The official, and Jericho and the Triple official me being a wrestling fan, that was my first WrestleMania. I started, <laughs> I started watching wrestling the day after 18 because of Rock and Hogan. Wow. Because people were talking about Rock and Hogan. That was a great match. Jericho, Jericho versus... Uh, Jericho and Triple H in my Jericho opinion, Triple H was very was underrated. Very, it was underrated because of the fact that... That Hogan and Rock and Hogan. But, but, but when you agreed that... That they did the right thing by putting the title match left yeah. last because it's, a, it's but, a main no. event. You have to put a but look, but there was That's rumors exactly. going around. There was rumors going around that it was supposed to be Hogan and Austin. Well, that was yeah, because Austin didn't want to fight Hogan because he didn't think that the match would be good. He said this multiple well, times. Hulk, to but, put that rumor to rest, Austin doesn't look for the wrestling fans out there. Austin doesn't want to wrestle Hogan. He said he doesn't it a think, times. He doesn't think that the match will go well. Yeah. Despite the fact that Hogan is swearing on, on the Bible. Paper. Wait, he's got to do it paper. with the right hand. That he will put Hulk Austin over. He he on do paper, it. on paper, it's a dream match because you have the 80s, which is Hulk Hogan. And the 90s, and which the 90s Stone Cold. Which Stone Cold. Also on the card, um, Taker going to 10-0 with the streak. Which, um, kicking the ever I'm sorry, Taker. Kicking the ever-loving hell out of Make Your Boy Ric Flair. Taker, that was an ass kicking. Taker with the big evil gimmick, and I'm sorry, he, he, he can't pull off short hair. No. Uh, <laughs> um, Keep the long I hair, love, man. I'm, I love the Undertaker, oh. but yeah. Flair, Keep the long hair. Yeah, yeah but he I did. I did like the best heel of the year. Though. I did like Art Anderson's run in with the double A spine buster on Taker. But moving along to 19. 19. One of, like, what, and I feel that after 17, they had a hard time making really good WrestleMania's. I think WrestleMania 19 was up to par with 17 in terms of matches and in terms of what happened. In ring work. In ring work. The first thing that comes to mind. The first match. Got the audience pumped up was Mysterio and Matt Hardy for the Cruiserweight title. Well, I well, thought that, that was that okay. Was, that yeah, was just hopping up the let's match. Stick the let's, let's stick to the list. Let's, let's stick to the list. Triple H versus uh, Booker T. Booker was supposed to win that match, but he hurt Gold. his leg. Because, no, but there's a rumor. There was a rumor from that year that that just because they signed Goldberg, yeah. they, they they kept on the the belt on Triple H for months, so Goldberg can, can win beat him. But he's uh, been sticking to the list. I like think Lesnar, Lesnar and Angle. Kurt Angle going in with a broken neck. Brock Lesnar getting a concussion. From the shooting Kurt star said, press. No, in an interview, Kurt Angle said he could barely lift his, his right, left arm. His, his left right, arm. his left arm over his head. By the time that match was done with, he, he had no use at all. He couldn't lift it at all. Now, Next to Lesnar getting a concussion. From the shooting star head. press. He's lucky he didn't break his neck. And, and Lou, we had the, uh, the third and final meeting at WrestleMania. Between uh, Austin, Austin and Rock. I mean, Rock. that third WrestleMania meeting. And their final encounter. And that was Austin's last match, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I thought match that he... <laughs> He wanted that to be his last. He match. wanted it to be his last. Not a lot of people knew, except for Jim Ross, maybe that that was going to be. The his night last before, match. he had a panic attack. He had a panic. A lot of people don't know this. Stone Cold was in the hospital the night yeah, before he mentioned it in his book. Yeah. He said that he thought he was having a heart attack because yeah. he had so many energy drinks and he was built up with stress because of the fact that he knew that his career was going to be over. And you know, I hey, it had stress. Had, stress gets to the best of us. Now moving on to WrestleMania 20. 20, 20, now, years, in personal, 20 years in the making. 20 years in the making. One man had a vision. One man had a vision, whatever the hell you want to call it. Where it all begins again when they redid the draft and everything, whatever. But uh, my personal favorite part of that night. The return of the dead man. The return of his real gimmick, not a biker, the real Undertaker. Totally, totally taking, taking Kane's face and going, psh, 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 a lot of people don't know this. Paul Barrow was hidden in Newark, New Jersey the entire day until it was WrestleMania time. And then they brought him in. There was abs The only tip that you got that Paul would be there was the Monday before when Kane opened up the casket and the urn was inside. Yeah. But no one thought that Paul would be back. And it was great. It was I, ten times better than you expected. I have to touch on this. The worst WrestleMania match ever in history. It's listed on there. Lesnar and Goldberg. What a letdown. On everybody, paper. Everybody was like, Lesnar and Goldberg. Uh, the oh fan, my god, the, the collision. In the age of the internet, fans being smarter, um, they, knew, and they knew they were they leaving. Knew, they, knew Les, Les, they knew Goldberg's contract expired. They knew and Brock wanted to go to the NFL. Was leave. Stone Cold left a few weeks later. And then, then the, the first, highlight of that match was Stone Cold. But, stunning everybody. But and, the last, 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 last and the last was the triple threat match. The triple threat match, threat match between, the I mean, uh, between Benoit, <laughs> Triple H, and HBK, which in my murderer. opinion was a show stealer. All right, uh, guys, and ending WrestleMania, Eddie Guerrero, Benoit. That was a good one. Guys, we got to take a break. We'll be right back with the last six WrestleManias. <laughs> 